It's Bourbon Night. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. Welcome to Live, Sunday Night Live. Summer hours. <laughs> it's it's still SNL. It's Sunday, Sunday Night Live. Sunday Night Live. SNL with, it's Bourbon Night. It's IBN. IBN SNL. Um, there you go. Let's make, new... it a, make it a thing. Yeah. Let's make it a thing. Uh, so, what's, what's, what's going on? Seems like we got a lot of stuff here. We do have a lot of stuff. Um, we have to do our What's New and Sample shout out first. Uh, but before we get into that, Tonight we're doing a lot of Woodenville, yeah. um, which we've been sent samples, we've been sent bottles, and we like everything that we've tried so far, but we have a lot more still to try. So I think that's what we want to get into this evening. Mm -hmm. For sure. Just have a Woodenville night. Well, I guess, uh, I think it's just all what's new. I don't think we really have any samples. No, no samples. Yeah. Some presents. Some Gift presents. shout out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but, uh, so what's new, I guess, is just the Eleanor? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, um, we've also got um, some of this coming to us later oh, as well. Yeah, it got like something sticky some, uh, on it. Oh, well. Yeah, Eleanor. We're going to get us some more that's right. when we go down in October. But uh, Todd Cooper was kind enough to bring this on his visit, yes. which was lovely. Got to have a nice and we also little have visit the with him. Crowd of Barrel Alliance, which is uh, with Wyoming Whiskey. Incorporated, so um, so yeah. But these are all bourbon whiskey, albeit not Kentucky, which is kind of yeah. I guess the theme of tonight since we're doing Woodenville, which is Washington. Right. So yeah. So that is what is new. That's what's new. And and he also bought us another cool present that he had like it was the flasks. Mm -hmm. So yeah. 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 We're very appreciative. Yes. Thank you so much. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Um, so you want to just get into I it? I think we should. That's Let's like the it. fastest I know. one of those that we're, we've done. We're going to have so much great. time to get into these. So much time to drink. We, we have a lot of these. Now we've done one of these before. This is the only one that we've done before. And I think this was on a live as well. Um, and oh man, who sent us this original one? Ah. <sighs> Dag I, th it. I think it was Joseph. Was it Joseph? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Because we hadn't even heard of it before, and then he sent us some more yeah, afterwards. So, um, Who is it? He's in the chat. So Joseph, I Joseph know that Brazo. you sent us this one. So this is the 100% uh, rye whiskey that's 90 proof. Mm -hmm. uh, but then Tony, uh, Tony Fund, um, sent us two other bottles, and then, I don't know if you can see it all, but just- All them samples. All these samples. So tonight is brought to you by Joseph and Tony. Uh, Thanks. Mostly Tony because of all these samples here, but you know, it's it's all, it's, it's not a competition. It's not. <laughs> so where to start first? I guess, do we want to revisit the one that we've Kind of get a baseline of yep. the 90 proof bourbon. Let's do that. All and right. because we're going to be doing so many of these uh, and kind of going around the Woodenville world, we'll do a pinned comment with what we're trying at different times in case you want to skip around uh, for anyone watching the replay. Yes. So you can find that later. Let's do it. All right. <clears throat> Will you pour for me? Yes. Thank you. Oh. I really like these bottles. Yeah, they're substantial bottles. Do we have the cast strength? Yes. Yeah. We've got mm -hmm. a pick. Uh, well, this is uh, the 100% well, rye cast strength. We've obviously oh. done it before. And we've done this one before. But that's the cast strength. Oh, so we can revisit that too. Yeah. If we want. Wow. This is a lot. <laughs> what are we going to do? That's why we're doing <sighs> small pours. Small pours. Small pours on this. So how's, how's everyone doing? Uh, see Chris in the chat. Carl the Legend Ivy is here. Ty Koopa. We've got a lot. I almost said, we've got a lot of big names in the chat, Chad. There's a lot of big names. A lot of, a lot of big <laughs> a deals. A lot of familiar names. Yeah, a lot of big deals. Thanks the, for uh, the, uh, joining us. We appreciate right it. Yeah. Um, I Hope guess, you guys are having a good Sunday night. Yeah. I guess this uh, this episode also brought to you by whiskeyambitions.com, since oh, that's yeah. the Glen Karens that we're using and the t-shirts oh, that I'm wearing. So, Whiskey Ambitions, you can put an E in it or not. Take it to the same place for uh that's true for our merch so there you go there you go hanging with mr koopa <laughs> <laughs> i love it why didn't i think I of that i just love it uh nicely done brent so, so this again this is woodenville uh straight bourbon whiskey pot distilled 90 proof 90 proof and uh this is handmade in washington state mm. 
I ate something yesterday and it cut the roof of my mouth. So if I make that face, it's n don't jump to conclusions. I don't dislike it. It's just like, ow. You need to numb your mouth. Yeah. Which will happen. <laughs> Jose, help. <laughs> or Carl. Oh. <laughs> wow. Just over it. Yeah. Over. Someone can. Oh gosh, that's that just... gave me a good laugh though. Hey, that's some good moderating there. Tear. Carl. A single tear. Yeah. Better than are you pregnant? <laughs> so. Yeah. Oh, there's some sad mm. news from from Chris. He's sitting in the hospital room right oh. now with his mom. Sorry to sorry to hear about that, Chris. Pneumonia again. That's such a bummer. Yeah. Oh. Cheers to your mom's speedy recovery. Absolutely. Hey, good job. That offender has been hidden. Nice job, Jose. Keeping it nutty. <laughs> His name is <clears throat> Steve E. Wonder. <laughs> I always thought he was such a nice guy, that Steve E. Oh, e. man. No. No worries, you guys. No worries. That's funny. Um... Here, let's... I, I already almost drank it all. This is really good. Just out of view. So, Woodenville... There we go. I just think it's impressive because... It is. Well, it's it's uh, non-age stated. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's straight. So, at least our, our first clue is that it's two years old. Right. But there's no age statement on the bottle, so our next clue is it's over four years old. As long as they comply with the law. <laughs> uh, and, I, and I think it definitely tastes like it's over four years old. I would say more like five or six. That's what I would, if I had to guess. Yeah, I mean, it does not taste young at all, I don't no. think. I mean, I wouldn't, I would guess maybe like six, six years, maybe? Mm-hmm, yeah. That would be my guess. So it's typically around five. Tony's here. Thank you, Tony. Oh, hey, Tony. For your generous contribution to Great. our Woodenville evening. Yes. So, let me get some info right off the bat here. <clears throat> we won't get into this much detail on all the others, because it's probably the same blurb, but they say, back of the bottle, this truly small batch bourbon starts with traditionally grown corn, rye, and malted barley. All of our staple grains are cultivated exclusively for us on the Omlin um, uh, family farm in Quincy, Washington. The grains are mashed, distilled, and barreled in our Woodenville distillery, then trucked back over the Cascade Mountains to our private barrel house Ooh. houses, where Central Washington's extreme temperatures uh, cycles, extreme temperature cycles promote the the uh, acceleration. It's a small print. Sorry, acceleration of natural flavors from the oak. I think, uh, maybe I'll read the rest later. I'm like, I don't just, is it a? <laughs> this isn't story hour. Mm. Oh, now we got another one. Andy must be related to uh, Stevie Wonder. It. They're on it. Thanks, guys. It must be a bot though. People don't really have time. Or just, a life. Right. Or well, a, a lot life. of people on. The, some you, you trolls could on the be internet just don't have a life. Drinking bourbon with us, enjoying yeah. it, and talking <laughs> about it, but no, instead you choose to spend your time this way. Well, whatever. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> no, this is um now you know, we've actually never bought a bottle of Woodenville. No, so, because so we can't comment on the price. So if anyone has uh has um you know, if if uh anyone wants to chime in on that. I'm just seeing all the, like, the... Yeah, well, okay. <laughs> the, the chat's just... Just... Kind of crazy. Kind of crazy um, tonight. Yeah, no, so if somebody can weigh in uh, with the cost on, on this one, if you know, um, I would Google it, but then I would be not engaging with you. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, Brent, the, the straight bourbon whiskey 90 proof, Woodenville. Mm -hmm. What... How much does that cost? I don't know. So Brent asks, uh, or comments, haven't looked through your whole archive yet, uh, but have you reviewed J. Henry and Sons yet? I think we did in our um, advent calendar. I think we had a J. Oh, Henry and Sons. Oh, I was going to say, I don't remember that. So that last makes year's, sense. Last yeah. year's advent calendar. Yeah, I believe. Mm. So, this, so this is good. Woodenville, like really surprised me the first time I had it because I think when we first got this bottle. There's Pam. Hi, Pam. Oh, I'm so glad that you're here at this point <laughs> and not before. <laughs> um, because there was a time when we were like, uh, we're having trouble just keeping up with all the bourbons that are Kentucky bourbons. Like, we're not going to spend a lot of energy chasing things outside. Um, oh, so we got a 36 to $42. Nice. That's uh, a good price, I think. We have cast strength and rye averages around 80 plus. Nice. So that's good for cast strength. Yeah. Um, 
but yeah, I think it was just around a time when, you know, before our Patreon had really ramped up and we were able to explore more, mm -hmm. uh, which we are now, but we were like, we're really just gonna heads down focus on what's available and close to us. And then Woodenville came in and I think that's the first one where I was really pleasantly surprised and impressed about like an- Agreed. Uh, not that anything out of, out of state can't be good. It just, up until then, I hadn't had something that I felt like was on par. Yeah. Um, which we've had many things since then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, this is definitely one of the first ones. Is this an uncorking? This is an uncorking. This is a live uncorking if I can get If you can get it. Wow. I'm going to go ahead and give a triangle cheers to our moderators. Thanks for moderating. <laughs> that's for you. You know, might want to just go get a knife because uh, that's good. You going to go get a knife? Me. Oh, Chad got up. I was like, hey, I want to pour one, but I can't because it's, it's sealed. Um... Oh well, we'll just have to wait for Chad to get back with the knife. Well, it's gonna be scissors. It's gonna be scissors. All right, scissors will work also. <clears throat> All right, so I thought we'd go Ooh. next to the 90 proof rye. Okay. And uh, see you how- You make me nervous. See how that goes. Sorry for all that extra noise. All right. Wait, I don't need to do that. I've got nice more glasses. Nice cork pop. I am impressed by that. That was a nice one. Okay, so this one comes to us from Joseph Brazo, who is in the chat, so please thank him for bringing this bottle to us. Thanks, Joseph. What? Nothing, I just was like, oh, please stop. <laughs> Todd says, that balloon looks nicely propped back up. Hmm. Yes, it's the same <laughs> balloon, but it's just laying there. Yeah, well, I think that's what, I, I think Todd. Todd put it there. <laughs> repositioned it there when he was over. We could kill it, but how much fun would that be? Right. It's just hanging on. So, let me see. Ooh, that's got a... It's 100% rye. Whoa, So that's, yeah. that's I was going to say, but you know what? I've had 95% rye that smell more spice cabinet than this does, mm -hmm. like knock you over the head. I feel like... Yeah, maybe I should yeah. cork it back up. <laughs> so who's had this here in the chat? Ooh, now going back in for a second one, it's, it's very spicy. <laughs> uh, Brent says, really stepped up my bourbon collecting over the last few months. Is it wrong that I've completely given up on searching for all limited releases due to price gouging? No, that's not wrong. I think that there's plenty of great stuff out there on the shelves that people overlook all the time because they're just chasing whatever that limited release thing is. Yeah. However, we do chase some limited releases. Like, if someone was like, hey, come stand in line for this Booker's 30th that you can get again and it's the last batch of it that we're going to put out there i would be like i'll be in that line <laughs> yeah first thing in the morning yeah for sure um for sure if somebody can please help norris uh richards on a good place to go to get this i don't know haven't been on their website don't know if you can order it don't know if you can get it on like local total wine or something like yeah, that. yeah i don't think i've seen this in I kentucky i haven't seen it in kentucky either no so i don't know where you <laughs> are but so the rye is a rye. <laughs> it's definitely 100% rye. It definitely is. Mm. It stings. <laughs> Spicy. Oh, hey. hey, Joseph. Thank you for the super chat. He says, thanks for being such gracious hosts last week. I already miss you guys. Oh, we miss you Same. too. Thank you for that. Um, Thank you for treating us. Tony, uh, who's responsible for a lot of these, he said you can get some at socialws.com. Hmm. So S-O-C-A-L-W-S.com. No, I think it's SoCal. Oh, you're right. S-O-C-A-L-W-S. <laughs> SoCal. WS.com. Yeah, sorry. It's okay. Yeah. It is small type and it's far from you and you don't have your readers on. So. I don't wear readers. He doesn't wear glasses. <clears throat> I'm just kidding. Um, so, um, oh, hey, the whiskey dick. Bill's in the chat. What up, Bill? What up, Bill? Have you had any of the Woodenville product? Let us know. Um, second taste, like, it, 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 is a, it is kind of a tongue punch to go from a bourbon, you know, a nice, easy 90 proof bourbon to a 100% rye, even if it is also a 90 proof. It's it's a little bit of a culture shock. Yeah. Second taste, 
I'll say is is better. It's less like whoa, you know. I don't know. I think this is really appealing. Like this is the first like hundred proof or not hundred proof, hundred percent rye Ooh, yeah. that oh. I've been like really liking. I really like it. It definitely warms you up. This would be great. This is gonna be my fall rye. I think. Yeah. I like it a lot. It's got. I'll it has say, a lot of character. It's got a mouthfeel. Yeah, it does. It's bordering on a exceptional mouthfeel. I mm. uh, wish I could insert that clip, but we're live. Um, I'll have to invest in that type of system uh, where I yeah. can do that. Mm -hmm. um, I'll just um, have to wait until then. Oh no. Oh, Bill, are you are you in? Uh, are you traveling? He says I have some balcones in my checked checked in bag. Hmm. Todd wants to know if it's foliage and shit. <laughs> Not quite. It doesn't have that like outdoors right. leafy yeah. kind of thing. I would agree. But I would drink it at that time of the year. And there's the eye roll. Yes. And there it is. What? Me rolling my eyes at you doing that exceptional mouthfeel. Oh. Okay. Stop trying to make exceptional mouthfeel happen, Chad. It's not going to happen. I'm going to go back to reading more of the bottle. You can go shave your back now. <laughs> Jeremy. No, it's Jason. Jason. I always think it's Jeremy. <laughs> um, okay. We last left off. Oh my goodness. On the back of the bottle. Prior to being cooperaged, coopered, that is, the, the barrel's wood is seasoned in open air, rain, wind, sun, and snow for 18 months. This is kind of you know, typical. Uh, softening the wood's harsh tannins. The barrels are then slowly roasted and heavily charred to further enrich the wood's desirable flavors. This meticulous process yields a truly handcrafted whiskey with aromas of cinnamon, clove, and fruit leather. Hmm. There's a fruit leather. A fruit leather. As well as notes of caramel, wood spice, and honey on the palate with a long, memorable finish that will leave you anticipating your next sip. Hmm. And, that's, and that's the back of the bottle. So I don't know where they get their barrels. Um, I think, you know, Independent Stave or Kelvin's, Kelvin's Cooperage does that, sitting the barrels out. Yeah. And long, you know. Hey, say hi to Dan for Trevor. Hey, Dan from Trevor. No. <laughs> hey, Dan. No, he's with, never mind. <laughs> hey, Dan. Just, that's okay. Okay. Hi. Wow. Uh, um, yeah. The rookie wine and whiskey enthusiast says Dave Pickerel made sure the owners knew that barrel selection and quality were extremely important. I didn't realize that he had a hand in this brand, but it makes complete sense while I'm drinking this. Like, I, <clears throat> yeah. That, well, yeah, I mean. I could totally see that. Yeah, I could totally see that. He's uh, probably consulted for, for a lot of They said hundreds. Brands, yeah. I mean, I'm sure most, I don't know. I feel like you've got a pretty good chance that he's been involved in something. Yeah, like, absolutely. That you're drinking, so. Mm. Good stuff. Good stuff. I yeah, enjoy that. I, mean, I like that. I think this would work really well in a cocktail, despite it just being 90 proof. This might be one of my... I think this might be my favorite 100% rye. 100%. Now, we haven't had some whistle pigs in a minute. That's true. That's true. Yeah. But, hey. All right, you're right. I can't say that. <coughs> it's very easy, and that's probably the it proof, is. but I think yeah. it's right. For that very yep. good very good job woodenville i like that oh. and now i'm all warm so joseph says it makes a good old-fashioned i could totally see that yeah. oh we should try it with my that new old-fashioned recipe mm, for yes. sure for sure uh, um brent says i can get a bottle of stag jr or joseph magnus triple cast for the same price which one would you go with what's the price it sounds like they're marking that Stag Jr. up. Yeah. Or it's a really big sale on Joseph Magnus. <laughs> yeah. Like Stag Jr. is normally what, like 60? Yeah, it 55, should be 60? 55, yeah. Um, so, I mean, if they're both 55. $99. $99. $99. That's too much for a Stag. That's, that's a lot. That's almost double. But how often are you going to find it? You're paying for availability. Sure, absolutely. I don't know. Absolutely. I like Joseph Magnus a lot, but I'd probably that's get actually the... a really low price for Joseph, for Joseph Magnus. Magnus. It's I feel usually like one twenty, I think. Yeah, well, it's the triple cask. Oh yeah, that is a low price. Yeah, I might have to go with that because you're getting a good deal. Wow. Versus overpaying on the uh, yeah on the stag. So Ozzy, we got another Ozzy in the in the chat. Ozzy whiskey guy. Hey guys. And Leanne's here too. Hey. Lil. 
She's in here floating around too. Hey Lil, hey Chris. We got everybody, all Aussie friends. whiskey guy, do you, do you all know each other? Does everyone in Australia know each Ooh. other? <laughs> yeah, so, just oh. like how everyone in Kentucky knows each other, right. Chad. Um, so we're to the samples for the time being, which are all from Tony. And this is the cast strength, single barrel, 123.6 proof. So that is what mm. we're on right now. This is the, the bourbon though. Yeah, this is the bourbon. It smells musty. Very like baked goods. You can smell it like, like coming out of an oven. Like a light bread baking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. Scott, thank you for the super chat. It says, love the summer hours. Finally figured out how time zone worked this week. Yes, Sometimes Scott. I have to think about it too. Good job. <laughs> good math. <laughs> and and all this, all these uh, people, despite me not realizing that I had the link private till about five minutes before we went live. Where are you going? Um, just to see how many people oh, are in there. 174. Yeah. Whoops. Oh, and now it's all gone. No, there we go. <laughs> yep. It's okay. Awesome. Sometimes accidents happen. No big deal. <laughs> They're all still here. 173 yeah. of them. Oh, wait. We're, we're losing them fast. <laughs> we're losing them fast. Um, yeah. 123.6. It doesn't nose that way. It's just like extra musty. It's pretty dang smooth, too. I feel like if, if we... If we gush too much on this brand, people are gonna think that we were paid. <laughs> we should just go ahead and do the disclaimer. We are in no way paid Woo. or sponsored by Woodenville. Uh, these whiskeys were gifted to us, gifted. but not from the distillery. Uh, we have no affiliation with them. That's true. There you go. That's all fair and true. Yes. This one, mm, I don't know. It's a, what are you doing? Wanted to talk about, I was trying to get the, Um. I like the proof, but I feel like it's not as the flavor. There's not as many flavors coming through. It's just like kind of dry and hot, and um, like I said, I think get a little bit of a musty note. It made me go, "Wow!" I'm getting a lot of apple cinnamon but on this. Apple cinnamon. Yeah, like an apple crisp. Um, mm. Wow. It is, it is a little dry, front of the tongue dry, yeah. Um, oh, that's hot. Oh, that's hot. That's not helping good. my mouth. But it's good. <laughs> um, yeah. All right, wanted to, uh, we probably should put this top of the show, but wanted to mention uh, this first time we are uh, announcing this, we are doing the first ever uh, in front of a studio audience flight fight. I, I would say live, but it won't be live. Oh. It's the first audience participation flight fight, uh, which will be at the Rippy Mansion, which is in Lawrenceburg, Kentucky. That's where Wild Turkey is located. Good call, Chad. Yeah. I was like, where is he going with this? <laughs> it is a uh, ticketed event. Tickets are $40, but you get to try a blind flight fight with us. It's not double blind. You will know what the whiskeys are. So it is E.H. Taylor Small Batch. Four Roses Single Barrel, sorry, Four Roses Small Batch Select, Select. Um, Wild Turkey Rare Breed, the, the new uh, proof, and um, Jim Beam oh. Legion. So those are all four be in a blind flight. And you we have can, an angle for each of them. We have yes, an angle. So. Have, there's a story that corresponds at the Rippy Mansion. You remember when uh, Campari had Wild Turkey come out with the uh, old Rippy, brought that brand kind of back from the, from the dead? That is the Rippies, which the <clears throat> Rippy Mansion is um, this home where the Rippies lived. It became decrepit, and the uh, the family. I, I love that word, decrepit. Decrepit. It really you can picture it. Yeah. yeah. The, the family bought it back. They started this restoration uh, procedure. This has been going on ongoing. Actually, uh, the sales. Some of the sales of the tickets go towards refurnishing the old Rippy Mansion, which, which is, is really cool. But you'll be at the Rippy Mansion. Uh, there'll be little snacks and stuff. We'll be, we'll there, be there doing a flight fight. Um, so you can do that. So to get tickets, uh, it, it, the web's website, now we'll put it down in the description as well, but it is uh, tb, <laughs> tb, rippyhome.com. T-B-R-I-P-Y-H-O-M-E.com. And I'm going to have to, do you remember the date? <laughs> Chad. <laughs> Yes, it's in my phone. Okay. One moment, please. Yeah, so so that's that's when... Uh, I could have 
prepared. Yeah, I know. So um, that's when things are happening. But wouldn't that be Saturday fun if we were night, all right? if we were all compared? I think uh, it's the twenty. Yes, Jose, get nutty with its bourbon night at the Rippy Mansion. July twentieth. July twentieth. Tickets are now available at that website um, to spend an evening. I think they're going to cap it around seventy people. Yeah. So um, almost we don't sell you know enough tickets, and then it'll be a smaller, more intimate event. But that's all up to you guys. Yeah, I mean they're going to have it. it yeah, it's not they're, like they have to reach no, seventy. Yeah, their capacity be up is to, up to up to at the uh, at the max. But so I got to say. I thought I would like this one more because it's, you know, cast strength. And obviously, like, I love cast strength. But this one is dry and it's kind of leaving my throat a little scratchy. Really? Like, <clears throat> afterwards, I was like, <clears throat> yeah, it's a little... I uh, kind of get, you know, this is very intense, much like a Elijah Craig barrel proof. Um, it's, this is very front of the tongue. Um, <sighs> and, you know, it's, it's got some heat, but I'm, I'm liking the heat. I, yeah. But no. I would kind of compare it to a to an Elijah Craig. Don't mind me. Hmm. Okay. Just so a, just a little water in there. <laughs> to see what happens. This um, is the audience participation part of the show. Like there's never not an audience participation part. But here's what we've got to. Did you split these up in the in the? I did, but now I think they're all jumbled up again. Okay. Well, Ooh, better with a couple drops of water. Ah, I should have tried that. Less, less That's scratchy. Okay. That's okay. Hey, TNT's Blues Corner. Let us get something in our glass, yeah. and we will cheers you, sir. Um, well, here. Let I me liked just... your picture from the other day. He was wearing the Bourbonite shirt. Did a screenshot. Oh, liked yeah, it. Did yeah. all the arrows. Applewood stay finish. Okay. I'm going to do this one. Applewood stay finish, because uh, Joseph Frazo... I think he uh, he gave Perry an Applewood. He finished, did. He said he was, to get it from Perry. Right. But we did not have time. But we have it right here. We have it right here. Thanks to Tony. So yeah. That's what we're gonna try next. Teamwork. So, I heard it makes the dream work. It does make the dream work. So this is Woodenville Whiskey Company Bourbon Toasted Applewood Stay Finish 100 Proof. That sounds yummy. It does. So. Thank you. You're such a gentleman. Just a little bit. Yep. Thank you. Uh, Adam wants to know, hey Adam, I saw your little one. He wants to know, hey Adam. On the, on, on the interweb, so cute. Um, has anyone tried Black Ridge from Total Wine? I don't even think I've heard that. Black Ridge, is that like their their brand or something? I don't know. Anyway, this is, did, did TNT Blues Corner say anything in particular? Oh yeah, we should go back to that. Good call, Chad. Uh, he says, I hope everyone's enjoying the summer, drink more bourbon. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to you. you. Check out his YouTube channel. It's here on YouTube. <laughs> Duh. Duh. But uh, TNT's Blues Corner, some guitar playing. Um, what was I going to say? But no, don't know about that uh, Total Wine thing. So sure. Joseph says that this is the best of the Woodenvilles. We'll see about that. Yeah, we'll see no, about that. No, I, uh, he says they tank the bourbon with applewood staves. Interesting. The it rookie is? wine and whiskey enthusiast says, um, and it's awesome in an apple cider but it would be i love bourbon and apple cider in the fall actually at our keeneland meetup last year i did a bourbon and apple cider punch i guess yeah it was really good that was fun all the college girls came over and drank <laughs> it <laughs> i was like all right i mean sure whatever if you're uh, drinking really bourbon. again it's more it's like a sugary apple like a baked good it's a little Apple pie. And there's a little tartness in apple, there. Apple, uh, not pie, more like an apple... Um, Crisp? Brulee. I don't know. What that is. I don't even know what that is. Tartlet. Tartlet. You are a tartlet. Mm. <laughs> Whoa, that is super easy. This is 100 proof. Oh. Wow. Oh, that's good. <laughs> it is. It's stung. <clears throat> Ow. <laughs> My mouth. Oh, yeah. Your it mouth. really hurts. Okay. <laughs> All right. We just got two super chats. First one is from Dumb Ash Reviews. I see what you did there. See what you did there. Love the channel and the new hours. Cheers. Thank you. I would imagine that is a YouTube channel that, that does some type of smoking, uh, maybe cigar oh, reviews. Oh, that would make or, sense. That would make sense. Or something. Trev says, my so bud is getting married in October. Drink for Dan. All okay. right. Drinks for Dan. Hey, drinks for Dan. Thanks, you, Trev, and cheers to you, Dan. Trev, are you still at the lake? I feel like you're just, like, always at the <laughs> lake and at the beach now. Yeah. Well, that's how you're going to get your nickname. So be like, Trev B. 
Beach Body Wilson. <laughs> beach Body. Like Trab the Beach Body Wilson. <laughs> Is that what you want? I think it just happened. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> it's not what he wanted. It's not what he wanted. It's not what he wanted. It's not the nickname he wanted, but it's the nickname you, we needed. It's the nickname we deserve. Yeah. <clears throat> this is really uh, easy. It is. Really I easy. I think I would like just to splash more. He says he's in the pool. Wow. <laughs> mm. That's really good. Thank you for this. This is a tasty treat. I'm trying, I need to describe it. I feel like we should just say something else It's about a tasty it. treat. That's what I said. It's a little savory. It's got a, it's little, a little savory. It's got a little, a little smoky note, note on the mm -hmm. end, but just a little bit. It's got like that sweetness from, I don't know. It's a little bit sweet, a little smoky. I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's good. It's intriguing. I still just get the, the visual of some type of Apple dessert, apple crumble. Apple crumble, I think, is kind of what Different I Different than a crisp, though. Totally. You don't even know. I don't know. <laughs> Golf whiskey. Hey, hey. Thank you. Kentucky bubbly, bourbon plus sparkling apple juice. Ooh, interesting. I have to try that one out. See, I love bourbon and apple cider, but I feel like the sugar from the apple cider, it's easy to drink because it's so sweet and delicious, and then the next day I'm like, no, my head. <laughs> Mistakes. Oh. Life choices. The sugar. So I try to limit myself to one, um, because they'll get you. Oh, they'll get you. Oh, they'll get you. Um, Aussie Whiskey Guy says, I've been slowly making my way through a May 2015 old bottling Elijah Craig Barrel Proof 139.8. Whoa, mm. that is high. He says, amazing, just amazeballs. <clears throat> we have the 139.4 uh, bottling, which mm. is real nice. Ooh, All right. I really like that. So here's where that might be my favorite thing of the night so far. Really? Yeah. I was just I don't know if it was the first thing we started with, but I just really I like really their like their, their ninety proof me bourbon. Me too. I just thought it was really. It's between those two. Things. Solid. Maybe it's because it tastes the most Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. Mm-hmm. Maybe. I don't know, but I, I also really like the uh, the cat strength. All right. Here's where we need your vote. So we have a port finish that we could try. Mm -hmm. We have, well, this is a pick from- Oh, we need to get one of those bottles so we can put it in our wine finish flight. Yes, we do. Uh, there's a Bob Liquors cast strength single barrel, which is 121 proof. Oh, it's a rye. Ooh, that's okay. interesting. I think that's the same thing. Uh, that is, I'll set it over there. We have a port finish batch two. First one is batch one, 90 proof. We have batch uh, one, batch, this is bourbon. Two. Batch two, bourbon. Okay, that's the same. You guys have any thoughts as Toasted we're reading these out? Wood. We have the apple wood. Uh, Wait, is that the same? That's bourbon. Oh, we have, okay. Maybe we should do this one next. Dude, let's do it. No one's voting. This is the apple wood stay finished rye. 100 proof, 100% mm. rye. That makes sense, let's yeah, do that. let's do that. That sounds good, I'll have that. Yeah, what's I'll the soup have of the what day? he's having. <laughs> the soup, what's the soup du jour? It's the soup of the day. Oh, okay, that I'll have good. that. sounds good, I'll have that. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh, lots of people having some Eagle Rare this evening. Never a bad choice. Does anyone not like Eagle Rare? I wanna hear that. I just bought a bottle of Eagle Rare, yes, two days ago, two days Friday. Ago. I would like to hear your opinion if you don't like Eagle Rare. I just want to know why. Like, you know, just curious. I mean, it's basically a Buffalo Trace. Somebody out there doesn't older. like it, and I want to know what, why. Yeah. Because I'm just curious. Um, yeah. All right, so again, we decided to go with the 100% rye, toasted applewood stave finish, 100 proof. Ooh, that nose has got a little bit more of a Make punch it a to it. double. Woo. Mm. Yeah. I get a lot of cherry. Like, almost like a cherry medicine. And I think that comes from a like- cherry cordial? The rye spices sometimes read like medicine-y licorice to me. So I don't know. Dumb Ash reviews can't find Eagle Rare in his area. What's your area? Area. Area. Hmm.
Hey, Ooh. Ben is having Four Roses single, bar single Barrel in his It's Bourbonite rocks glass. Oh, we love that. Available at whiskeyambitions.com. <laughs> Mm. We have the best job in the world. I wish this was our job. Yeah, that'd be great. This it? is like our other job. Myrtle Beach is the mash reviews area. Oh yeah, I have. I've heard that it's tough to find stuff um, in the Carolinas in general. But mm. it's wow. Golf whiskey says when we take the Buffalo Trace tour, we skip the Eagle Rare and just drink the Buffalo Trace. Wow. Mm. I mean, I guess that's good because for you. Because one, more bottles of Eagle Rare for the rest of us. And two, it's Buffalo Trace is less expensive. So yeah. if you can find something less expensive that you like more, then that's a win, I think. I think it's amazing, though, that they're both should be in the $20 range, you know? Well, Eagle Rare used to be under, 28 under 29 30, I should Yeah, say. under 30 They should be. I bought mine on Friday for 29 Wow. Buffalo Trace should be no more than 24. It might have been 27 now that I think about it. Whoa, well yeah. you need to go back. Yeah. Uh, Norris says, What's I can't find now? Weller in Virginia. Hmm. Um, yeah, we can't even find it here in Kentucky. It's uh, yeah. It's becoming a uh, Hey to Clifton. Find. He says, Woodenville is hosting a tasting tomorrow night in LA. Y'all have convinced me to go and try their lineup. Oh, nice. Cheers. <laughs> You're welcome, Woodenville. How much does it cost, though? Because then I can tell you, like, if it's like $150, I would be yeah. like, Meh. what do you get, though? Do you yeah. get to take home a bottle? Because then, yeah, sure. <laughs> Rock, Hill, no, Rock Hill Farms versus Blanton's versus Elmer T. Lee versus Buffalo Trace. Man, I don't know. I don't, there's a flight fight. We'll have to do that blind because I don't know. I don't know either. So you're going to think it's I'm crazy. <sighs> I'm prepared like for the hate. Elmer. Elmer just doesn't do it for me. Like, I keep going back to it thinking like, oh, you know, we have this bottle. I'll just keep trying it. And I don't know if I just have the wrong bottle, but I've tried it out other places too. And it's like fine, but it just doesn't do it for me. There's other things that I would like to have more. Well, that makes it all the more reason why we should put a blind in a fly fight. I totally agree with that. And I would like to see. And we haven't uncorked it. So maybe it's about time we do a oh, Elmer do you guys T. Lee uncorking. See an Elmer T. Lee uncorking. If you had the choice between an Elmer T. Lee or a Rock Hill Farms uncorking, which would you go for? Go for? And why? And why? Brief essay. No, I'm just kidding. And if so, why? How much? <laughs> if so, why? How much? Yeah. Steven, Steven Sussman. Hello. Super tired from work. At least I got. This blend of Weller 107 and Russell's Reserve Rye. I nice. think that's what that means. Yeah. Uh, cheers, all. Hope everyone is enjoying the summer weather. Thank you, Stephen. We are. Trev definitely is. <laughs> yeah. He's in a pool right now. He's in a pool. I don't know. Elmer, Elmer. Uh, so a lot of Elmer. Rock Hill oh, Farms. Rock Hill Farms. Rock oh, Hill I think Farms. they're just putting the, the. He's just putting it in order. Oh. JD says it's because of me that he likes higher proof bourbons. I did nothing for that. <laughs> okay. I see. It's okay. It's okay. Someone, people tell you all the time. Chad, you got me hooked on this. I got a really awful comment a today. A really on hateful one. YouTube. It was so mean. That's, a, that's fine. That stuff rolls off my back now. I mean, yeah. When we first started, that might have been like, ouch. Yeah. But well, nowadays, we all know it's not true because all these people, these 196 people disagree. Eh. With that one. It's fine. We don't respond to that. <laughs> we don't encourage There such is no behavior. room for that in our comments. <laughs> mm. All right, so we just try that. All right, so the more I sip this, the more I'm like, it's okay. I'm not feeling the rye, though. I really, really liked that bourbon. Uh, who would hate Chad? Right? Chad is the man. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, thank let's, you guys. let's build him back uh, up. Come, come on. That's fine. He had a rough nah, morning. No, no, no. It's fine. <laughs> I don't let those people get to me. Yep. Uh, uh, look how dark, dark the port finish is. Look at that. So if you guys had a choice between batch one and batch two of the port finish, I think someone already weighed in Can on we it, do? but I can't remember what it was. Oh, weighed in on what? Weighed in on um, a, a batch that we have. Oh, I don't know. Let's just go with one. Wanna go with one? Yeah, let's just go with one. Okay. Thank you all for saying such nice things. You made Chad happy again. 
It's getting a little manic depressive there. I know, right? <laughs> um, I, I thought I saw something. That I, oh, I was trying to count up how many Rock Hill Farms versus Elmers. If someone, maybe like someone who's moderating, you don't have to add them all up, but if you can just keep an eye out and well, see like where the majority lies and then we'll go. I mean, we'll do them both eventually, mm -hmm. but yeah. Uh, we have tried chicken cock, <laughs> the bourbon. Uh, underrated or overrated? Well, we tried the eight year. That's funny. I just gave Swan and Perry a sample of the eight year chicken cock tonight. Um, I hear the 10 year is where it's at, but that was like $250 or something crazy. Mm -hmm. We just got the eight year, which is still expensive and underwhelmed. So, yeah. yeah. Um, oh, Trev. Oh my gosh. What? I can't do it right now. I don't think. One second. Chat oh. boring. <laughs> there. Okay. <laughs> he said, but you know. <laughs> if I don't do it now, I'll forget. The, oh. the rookie wine and whiskey enthusiast. What do they says, say? You're, you're closer. I've been singing the praises of Woodenville since 2010. Wow. Thank you for giving them their due. Batch one, I find better than batch two. Well, I'm glad we started with batch one then. Cheers, Cheers to, you, to you, the rookie wine and whiskey enthusiast. You don't sound like a rookie if you've uh, been liking it since 2010. Yeah. So th again, this is a port finish, and wow, it smells smoky. Man, mm. it smells like a campfire. Someone asked if we're going to be doing a review of the new Barstown Bourbon Company stuff, if we were doing it on corking, because we did that live with it, and yes. we did review it then. I would love to do an uncorking of the Discovery series, which you went out in search of the other day, and we don't have it in our area yet. So we'll be on the lookout. Yeah, we um, found the, I found the other two, the uh, the fusion, fusion and the fusion and um, the Pfeiffer Pfeiffer Pavit. Yeah, it's probably like uh, Pfeiffer Pavit. Yeah, no, Chris, I haven't called Stephen Beam yet. I I I will. It's on my list. I promise. Thank you, Trevor. You've been knighted. <laughs> <laughs> you've been bourbon knighted. Computer's being laggy. Um, port finish. Oh wow, that is so different than like an Angel's Envy port finish. Whoa, that's smoky city. Smoke city. I feel like if I drink too much of this, I get a headache. I don't find it that smoky. It's ninety proof though. I think it's it's a little smoky. This reminds me of uh, Woodford um, Double Oak. It's got kind of that barbecue, like real savory, uh -huh. deep type of um, uh -huh. feeling to it, but like more so. More. Tad dry, I feel like that's the port influence. Yeah. It tends to do that, I've noticed. But I'll tell um, you what, I like it a hell of a lot better than Angel's Envy. <laughs> yeah. Just no, that cask though. Okay, we're talking 90 proof. We're here, just talking, okay? okay, we're talking baseline Angel's Envy. Oh, yes. well, I didn't know you didn't specify. <laughs> um, yeah. I think I really, the more that we try this finished stuff, and again, we just had a conversation with Swan about how like finished is like the new trend and obviously everyone's doing it. And like this year has been a lot of rum finished or like rum blended, but we've seen a ton of wine, especially port. And yeah. I think with the price, like Adam Terry was just commenting on how much that um, Bardstown Bourbon Company port finish cost, or yeah. was it Sherry? I can't remember. Um, it's like 130 for the bottle. Sherry, I believe. It's delicious, but at what point are these, are there too many wine finished options over like $100? And if there are that many, someone should tell you which one's the best one. And if so, why and how much? <laughs> and who, and who hey. out there could tell you? Don't know. That has access to a lot of them and could blind them and then tell you which one to get. So. I don't know. It could be us. Carl. And Trev have uh, both agreed. Seems like Rock Hill Farms won. Okay. So maybe we should do that as an uncorking pretty soon. All right. Over the Elmer. But we'll get to Elmer. We will get there, obviously. We also have a <laughs> Babby Van Winkle 15 year to uncork. But we just did the 23 not that long not ago. Not that long ago. So we'll probably do those other two before we get to the Pappy 15. Maybe during Sweeps Week. <laughs> Sweeps Week. <laughs> well, um, they, they do well. They always do well. Um, second taste, as always. You know, you get acclimated to it, second taste, better. 
Um, yeah, I'm not finding it to be as smoky. Like, it's got a little bit of that in there. It's nice. I think it's, it's really nice. got a lot of flavor for um, the proof. I am Ooh. feeling like the bourbon. Want this in a cocktail. Yeah, the bourbon taste is getting a little lost. Uh, I think it's getting overshadowed. It's pretty port forward. It's port forward. I but like it. For two people who don't, who like, don't like port, port. wine, pretty amazing that we're that we say that, but we also still like it. Mm. Pretty cool. Yeah, Chris says Leanne will help with the uncorking of the Pappy Fifteen when they're here. Uh, you're a Pappy Fifteen fan, <gasps> huh? Which yeah. makes only the Pappy Twenty left to collect them all. It's my Pokemon. It's my Char. Charm, Charmaster? What is it? Char. <laughs> Charmaster. Char. Charizard. Charizard. You mean you. a Japanese holographic Charizard? That's what I mean. Yeah. It's my grill master. I mean, my Char Master. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Charizard. Charmaster. <laughs> it's my Jigglypuff. Oh. Aaron, so funny that you should ask do we sell these glasses? <laughs> Why, yes, we do. Uh, on whiskeyambitions.com. With or without an E, we'll get you there. Or you can just uh, search It's Bourbon Night. Hell, you can go to It's Bourbon and it'll still take you there. That's true. We covered all of our... We got all our bases covered. Bases. Yep. We have tried the Wild Turkey Master's Keep uh, mm. sherry finish. That's that's the Oloroso, Oloroso right? Mm -hmm. Probably our least favorite of the Master's Keep. However, it's been a while since we visited it, and I feel like it should open up some more. So again, I would really like to do it blind with something else like Angel's Envy or yeah, 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 I paused at the wrong moment. I get it. What? What? What are you laughing at? No, I'm just saying, here she goes again with talking about that flight fighter. Oh. Yeah, what are you talking about? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Okie dokie. Um, <laughs> hey, Sarah, you look great again tonight, says Ricky. Oh, thanks, Ricky. Chad is not a Pokemon master. You are correct, Ash. I'm, I'm sorry. Um, not a Pokemaster. I am not. Yeah. Nope. Nope. That's yeah. okay though. It was a little, much, a little late. Read what Trevor. Trev said, read "Whiskey about. Ambitions tees the only shirt to make you look like Arnold without even stepping foot in the gym." It's true. <laughs> I'm wearing one now. Ah, get to the chopper, Todd Cooper. Get down. Oh God. Todd and Dana. Get to the chopper. We don't even have a Dana. I know. <laughs> I need something else. If you're going to be doing all it's that. It's sad. We should get a Dana. We should. Okay. Someone bring in a Dana. Todd, can you meet someone named Dana? So I can say, Todd, Dana. That would be great. I'm sure he'll get right on that. I think he will. Uh, hey, Doc Rose was great. Jason went there. That was uh, our recommendation. You are welcome. Glad we you like liked it. it. That We're speaking of a, a restaurant slash bar in Louisville, <laughs> Louisville, Kentucky. We say it Louisville. Chaz Part after dark. You're yes. right, Jose. Particle Man says, I don't drink whiskey. I Particle make my Man. Own. Particle Man. That's a They Might Be Giant okay. song. He says, I don't drink whiskey. I make my own beer. That's interesting. What are you doing in this Very chat? Cool. But I'm curious what brought you here. Yeah. Because um, that's kind of what we do. Is it just our magnetism? I guess. <laughs> All right. What should we drink next? Well, we're down to the nitty gritty. I think we're, we're going to go with one of these picks. One of these picks. I want to make sure our full bottles are the same thing that we've already tried. Uh, so, cast drink bourbon We whiskey. had that, yes. Yeah. And cast drink dry. Uh-huh, we had that too. Yeah. Okay. okay. Cool. So, n no reason to open those. All right, I mean, maybe we could save it for an uncorking or something. <laughs> so, we've got the batch two of the port, or we've got a... Uh... Now, someone said, Peter said Sarah, the Mona Lisa of bourbon, and that just gave me an idea for a t-shirt. <laughs> like you like, like those? But mm. like with, with the bourbons mm. and stuff. Like, like different background. <laughs> I mean, it could be the farmer, farmer and his oh, wife. Oh yeah, but with bourbons. Holding bourbon. I love that, but no one would get that. Like everybody would get. It. Everybody that's in the chat would get it. No See? one else would get it. Jose People, wants to know. Uh, wait, what are the options? It's the port, batch two finish. Oh goodness. I think maybe we've already had this. This is the bourbon cast drink. No, yeah. but where's that Bob's pick? This is right. Oh. Here. That's the one you have. In my hand. Okay, never mind. So. I think a bug bit me. Why did you do that? I have a bump on my head. Well, if it you weren't itches. so sweet. <laughs> that was delayed. Thanks, everybody. DH Silv 2 says, I only wear t shirts that are inside jokes. See? I would totally do the farmers. We would have to get like an artist to do that, though. Hmm, I don't know any artists. 
We know artists. Steven says, everybody would get it. I love wearing shirts that people ask, what does that mean? Ooh. That should be the label for a match made in heaven. There you go. <laughs> that, that's, the, that's the face of happiness. Oh, we can, we can show that. We showed it to our patron-only chat that happens uh, once a month at patreon.com You can uh, to become a patron. And, um, you too can become a patron. Get the uh, patron only Drink More Bourbon podcast, which you can get for just being a $1 member. That's right. So on and so forth. Excuse me. Hmm. Tell them what we're. We're, we're drinking. What, 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 what? We're getting ready to drink. Oh, I already sipped it. Um, we're drinking the uh, 100% rye Bob's Liquors Cast Strength Single Barrel 121.62 proof. That's what we're doing. Um. Double drink, because you got up again. Yeah. So we don't have a... Oh, uh, Lauren, did you send us the link to that artist? You you probably did. I need to find that in the email. Mm. The email's gotten a little unruly lately. Right. Um, so we don't have a bottle of Knob Creek right here. Well, we can show them on the Woodenville. It's roughly the same it's roughly. size and shape. I guess so. Um, let's do this one. So this is the sticker. It, it, it's small, it's a three by four, but this is the Mash Made in Heaven sticker that will be going on our Knob Creek pick, which will be coming in at the end of next month, which is July. It's almost this month. Yeah. Tomorrow's July 1st. It is. It'll go on the back of the bottle, like so. Plenty of room for us to sign or put yeah. a message on there or something. Or whatever pleases you. Something like that. So this is this will be our Mash Made in Heaven I'll put some lipstick on, sticker. give it a little... There you go. Yeah. That, then chat will do the same. It'll yeah. be cute. <laughs> that that costs extra though. Uh, they uh, Trev wants to know where do I send my monies for this? <laughs> Shut up and take you know. my money. We will let you know once uh, it's available. Yes. We will tell you. Yeah, it's uh, going through a um, sandwich shop slash liquor store here in town called Wine and Market. Excellent sandwiches. Excellent. Yeah. And, so good. Uh, and they do some great picks as well. So they picked the barrel. We picked the barrel, so there'll be both of those yeah. available. Oh. Ooh. This has got like a... Whoa. I mean, a slight weird, perfume quality, but... Uh, yeah, it's a grape and perfume. Yes, grape ape. Um, I don't know about that. I'm not really not really feeling it but it's super interesting though um, yeah it is it is complex yeah. it's got flavors that i don't often experience it's got a long finish i just don't know it does have a long finish it's, it's still 121. hanging out 121.62 uh um, brent also asked when is a bottle considered a dusty uh someone post saw someone post a pick of a 2016 referred to it as a dusty i lol uh, or G-O-L, giggled out loud. <laughs> I would call it 2016. I mean, depending on what it is. Does it have dust on it at this point? Yeah, like, if it's a 2016. What if it was a 2016 it's not like, it's not like Weller a, Antique 107 that's just like... Old bottle. Old bottle. Been sitting on the bottom shelf of a liquor store out in the middle a, of nowhere. i call that a dust. For a couple years. Yeah. I don't know. That's a great question. Like, it what is, defines well, it? I don't think it's like, you know, a car... Where it has to be 25 years old to be a classic, you know. It's like I don't think it, there's definitely not a defined period of time where a bourbon becomes a dusty. I but really like, just feel like if you walk into a liquor store and something is on a shelf and it has gathered dust and it is a label, a previous label, mm -hmm. I would almost like call if you that walked in and saw a Knob Creek small batch that had the nine-year age statement on it, would you call that a dusty? I probably it's would. It's been around for a while. But now I'm thinking about where we went to the Kentucky Bourbon Affair and they had, you know, one of your tickets was for a Dusty. Now those were like 1970s. Actually vintage. 1960s. So is there a difference between vintage and Dusties? Vintage, yeah, okay. Obviously so vintage. Your 2016 is, is not going to be a vintage. All then vintages I think it are does, Dusties, but not all, all dusties, dusties are, are vintages. vintages. There you go. Hmm. Um, I, I do think there would be an age that you would have to meet. Like it has to be 25 years old or more to be a uh, vintage, hmm. I would say, you know, but yeah. Yeah, that's a good question. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think we would need to get more opinions. Agreed. 
to define that. And are we going to be responsible for that entry in the dictionary or? Yeah, I think we can. I think we, we can. can just give them a call. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I don't know. Second taste. I like it. I'm not a fan. No? No. Well. I'm not. Okay. And I, I want more of that um, Applewood uh, bourbon finish one. So I think the only one. More money, please. <laughs> uh, so wait, what, this was the rye, cast strength bourbon. Lauren, I did not check Facebook. I will check Facebook. We had the cast strength bourbon. And I will get that artist's. So I think the only one that we didn't try was batch two of the port finish, which, you know, um, isn't a huge deal, but we got, we got, we got time. Well, okay. But what if I want more apple wood? <laughs> you can have some after the show. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uncork the Elmer, right. <sighs> we will do that ne sometime in the near future. Yeah. Ooh, I'm getting sleepy. Uh-oh. That's summer hours for you. Yeah. Is this ready? Well, I get sleepy after okay. the, yeah. I get sleepy after the three o'clock show, too. So. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Doesn't matter what Did time. We, have we ever passed out on live? Uh, no. Well, no. that one episode where we tried to do the beers. Oh, right. Um, I, oh, thank you. Yeah. Um, I Whoa. Did, didn't make it far. I got really tired and felt really sick. Wow. Which is why we don't drink beer. It's not its beer night. Standing up again. Bye, Chad. Ooh, whoa. Yeah, that's crazy, right? Huh. Whoa. 15 bucks gets you five to six whiskeys from each distillery. That's pretty good, Clifton. Yeah, definitely keep your eye out for the Applewood. I would try that. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's, what is that? <laughs> it's like some type of pungent fruit. It's like, I don't know. It's like a mixed berry kind of thing. Oh, I have to agree the batch one is better than the batch two. Woo. Batch one, yeah, oh yeah. The finish is way better on batch one. And I feel like the flavors are more like in harmony and happening together and like unfolding at the same time. Whereas in this one, I feel like it's like bang, bang, bang. <laughs> yeah. Um, this is the one that I'm not so much a fan of. Not so much a fan of this one. Um, Mr. Bill said, Chad, I saw my baker's guy at a recent Knob Creek single barrel Ohio pick release and thanked him for the heads up. Does that mean anything to you? Probably. Heads up about the... Um, is it about the Knob Creek, um... Oh, about the about bakers the, going to... Or, I'm sorry. Single Barrel? Yes. That's probably it. That could be it, yeah. Batch 2 is a little weird, Joseph. I would agree. It's a little funky. It is a little funky. I mean, I'm gonna drink it. Yeah, it has, like... Jimmy Drammer, you I've need a bourbon vacation to Kentucky. Yeah, you do. you do. You do. Um, I've never nose to bourbon and said rose petals before. And that is something on the flavor wheel and that's what I'm getting here. Sure. Rose petals, for Sarah, sure. Sarah, do you like uh, wine that has been aged in bourbon barrels? As, uh, as I do. Norris? Um, I've only had a, like a few. So I think Robert Mondavi has like a, a fairly inexpensive cab that they do aged in a bourbon barrel, mm -hmm. which I like. It's either the cab or the Merlot. I can't remember. I like their Merlot. Um, <clears throat> And then I had, um, What's that we have one a local one. Age in the Pappy Barrels. Oh, uh, Southern Bell. I like that one. And then I had a local winery called Old 502 Winery. I used to really like their bourbon barrel aged one, but now I find their wines too sweet. Didn't um, Inferno have one? Uh, you mean Apothic. Apothic, I yeah. think it may have been called Inferno. Yeah. I don't know that I liked that one. And then, Joseph, didn't you send me, uh, was it a... Did you just send me like some really good wines or was one of them barrel aged and I'm just misremembering? I liked all the wines you sent because they're all already gone. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know. Well, Jimmy Drammer loves- But yes, I like him. Jimmy Drammer loves his It's Bourbon Night t-shirt. Oh, I'm so glad. Which they're so awesome. cozy. <laughs> I picked it, I was like, this has to be soft. If it's not soft, I won't want to wear it. And then it how could I ever expect anyone else to wear it? It's a District T tri-blend. It feels amazing. Love wearing it. Obviously, tri blend. 
Mm. So I went back to what we started the evening with, which is this um, 90 proof bourbon. Uh -huh. And I will say, going back to it after everything, I'm tasting more that it is 90 proof. But, you know, we had cast drink between. Oh, did you now set this aside? I, I did. You weren't feeling it. <laughs> um, well, I just really wanted to go back. I wanted to know what was my favorite. Yeah. And, and initially, I thought it was this guy. I like it. I think, think uh, still think it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. super approachable, um, pretty well balanced. Um, no real burn to speak of. Not that long of a finish, especially after trying these yeah. other higher proof ones. But it's still really solid. I mean, really gonna know on the second. Taste. I agree. It's not fair to it to go back. I don't think. I think that's like what you start with. Ah. So maybe keep that in mind too, yeah, Clifton. Yeah, hit it with a second taste. Hit it. <laughs> All right. Hit this. Um, maybe try this one first if you haven't had it already before you go to the Applewood because I think it's not fair to it to go backwards. Um, hey, Brian's got his It's Bourbon Night shirt and a Knob Creek hat on. Hmm. Boom. That's awesome. Uh, Brent wants to know if we've had any California-based bourbons that we've liked, like Refined, Sonoma County... Or a crowbar. I haven't even heard of any of those. I didn't know California made so much bourbon. <clears throat> I don't think we have. We haven't. No. That's got to be the next area that we dive into because I think we get a pretty good percentage of viewership from California. Yeah. So I'm sure you guys would love to know. Yeah. What's in your neighborhood? For sure. I think uh, Texas. Texas. And um, Texas and Texas and Texas and smoking the reefer. <laughs> Little. Super Troopers twist on a reference there. Mm -hmm. uh, Texas and New York, I think. New York. I was like, I can't read your mind, so I can't help you unless I just start naming states. Uh, are two of our two of our biggest states as far as viewership goes, I do believe. Thank you, Trev, for making sure everybody and California. that like button. Ba Boom. Yeah, yeah. Scooter just got here. That's okay. We just did Welcome. like 15 different Woodenville burns. No big deal. We, we, also, like, we also have the um, the maple syrup that we could just heat up and pour. I'm not doing that. We do have a waffle. Um, we do have a waffle. No, I don't want to do that. I'm full. Okay. Maybe another time. Yeah. We'll do, it's bourbon night for breakfast or something like that. Um, oh, Norris says, my wife and I are making Kentucky trip in October to Buffalo Trace. Fun. We will also be at Buffalo Trace in October. We will. That's a teaser. More details coming soon. Mm -hmm. To Patreon. Um, yeah. Try this little uh, cast strength again. Littering and see Whiskey Steve gets it. <laughs> littering and littering and. Well, I didn't get it because it had littering literally none of the words. Smoking the reefer. Oh man. Yeah, Texas, Texas, New York, California. Mm-hmm. States. States. States that Chad knows. Yeah. Is what we're playing right Good now. Good job. Tennessee. Yeah. I don't know. Yes, we will do Indiana. A, uh, 11 a.m. live sometime. It's Bourbon Night has you over for breakfast. <laughs> it'll be eight. Brunch. It'll, it'll be, be eight brunch. Joseph's time, but it'll be yeah. brunch everywhere else. Yeah. yeah. And that's what we'll do. My glass is almost empty. I'm, I'm doing okay, though. Any future food episodes Jose wants to know? Well, nimbly, bimbly. I still need to do my bread pudding episode where we, Ooh. where we do all like taste different bourbons in the bread pudding sauce and then to tell you which one's the best one. Um, but that's kind of hard because I haven't been eating that kind of stuff recently. So it's like, uh, do like, we do it now? Well, we could do it for California. you guys. We could do it for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought we said he's going to LA. Right, right. Yeah. Uh, oh, hold on. I have a, a quiz from Chris here. Chad, mm -hmm. where is this from? You men go north, you men go south. I'm going to stay here and walk around in a circle. Ooh. I don't know that one. That sounds familiar, but I don't I don't know, Chris. You're going to have to, uh, you're gonna oh, have to tell me. No, I have to have some more. Hey, Scooter's looking forward to the rewatch because he just got here. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers to you, Scooter. I need... Uh, you don't have anything. I don't. What would you like? Do you want to hit that? Uh, <laughs> you want to hit that? Um, uh, the uh, barrel proof bourbon again? No. That's what I'm having. No, I want the apple one. Yep, that's the one. That's the one. Mm-hmm. <gasps> 
Sorry. You broke it! Oh, I did! Well, well, don't do that. Good thing <laughs> knows you basically have to slam it down in yeah. order to break it because no, it is we've, glass. We've dropped one of these before. And on it hasn't. Concrete and it has not cracked. Well, that just slipped right out of my hands. Well, that's sad. Here, give mm. me it. I'll just put it right okay. there. Okay. Man down. It's cracked. It's not like shattered. That's so sad. Okay, you're done. It they just, said to cut you it off. Was, no, it was just a slip. A slip? A slip it was of the a hand? Slip. I don't slip know. Of the hand. There was some Chaz Force in that. No, there wasn't Chaz Force. Yes, there was. It's clumsy Force. Ugh, party foul. I know. Pour it one sucks. out for that Glen Karen. Mm. Tear. <laughs> True. Um, oh, wait. Did Chris say? Did I miss it? Oh, I don't know. I'm too busy breaking stuff over <laughs> here. Uh, Chris, did you say? I can't see it. It might be down uh history oh history of the world mel brooks roman times yeah man it's been a minute since i've watched that movie <laughs> oh if you weren't watching before yeah. now you're watching because chad broke something yeah i come with these 15 commandments 10 commandments <laughs> mm -hmm. oh you're mm. crazy yeah Woo. well i feel like I'm winding down. I think that's, I think that's, that's your cue. That's a, uh, again, nothing to do with <laughs> the whiskey. Oh, I'm teasing you. Just my general clumsiness. Uh, Biggest dickus. You can show that. That's fine. Okay. They, they allowed they it. Yeah. What that's was... from History of the World. Gluteus Maximus. <laughs> I think it was one Jeez. of them. Man, it's been a while. I'm going to have to watch that again. That's good. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Monty Python and Search for the Grail, I could quote. Want you to find a shrubbery. Nothing too big, not too gaudy. Anyway. Oh, I've seen it. I, I was just, know. you know. Some, you may call me Tim. Oh, jeez. I think we said this before in the chat. That's actually because he forgot his line. I think that's right. Yeah. Yeah, we did talk about that before. Great stuff. Oh, uh, and everything comes full circle. Yep. See? Yes, so, Joseph, thumbs up on the Woodenville. I and think, Tony. Yes, until, well, Joseph asked. Oh, okay. Uh, but, yes. Um, <laughs> we allow Todd Koopa to be a little wild. Well, it's true. Uh, I think, overall, this brand is doing things right. I, yeah. I, I won't even say they're going in the right direction. I'll just say they're doing they're things doing right, right already. And apparently they've been around since the early At 2000s. Least, 2010, yeah. right? Uh, so, oh yeah, established 2010, right there. Well, there so, you go. I think the nine years they've had on this earth has been spent well, and they're doing things right, and I gotta say, I like the majority of all their products. Um, I agree. And hopefully we can start seeing this in our neck of the woods. You're scaring me. <laughs> Pay attention! <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. I, I agree with that. You know, there's definitely a range, some I like more than others, but as a whole, doing it right. Yeah, yeah, and that's yeah. nice. That's nice to see. Yeah. So yes, you will go have to go watch Holy Grail after this. And picture Chad <laughs> as an actor. That's right. Um, he wishes that also. That would be great. He likes that. Clifton um, said the best part of his Sunday night is hanging with you guys. I think he means us no, and you he guys means as chat. well. Well, yes, both. Um, oh, life said, of Brian is. You great. guys are he super amazing. Keep up the amazing work. Yeah. Thank you. And Dram Nation wants to know how many bourbons on the menu for the wedding day. We're still working on it's growing. compiling that section of our house. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Daniel says, I occasionally watch your videos in 0.5 speed. Y'all sound wasted. Cheers. That sounds funny. Well, I now wanna... we must sound really wasted. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> All right. Well, cool. I think that, that should do it for yeah, us. Yeah, that'll do it for us. We um, gotta go uh, buy another glass off Whiskey Ambitions to uh, replace your... Yeah, that your it. Foul. It's okay. It was bound to happen eventually. I just figured it would be me who yeah. broke the first one. Me too. Let's be real. Yeah, let's um, be honest. <laughs> let's get that right. Oh, oh well. Okay, cool. Well, uh, that'll do it for us. Thanks so much for joining us, guys, and we will see you next Sunday. Actually, next Sunday, uh, keep, you know looking at our Instagram and the um, 
notifications on YouTube. I think it's gonna be actually back at the normal time or the old time of 3 p.m. because we're gonna be joined with a guest. Mm -hmm. That's the plan right now. We'll be on the road. TBD, um, but I think we're gonna do it in Frankfurt and we're gonna be talking to a couple people who are putting on the new Bourbon on the Banks Festival in Frankfurt, Kentucky, mm -hmm. the uh, the first first annual. Kind of getting the lowdown on what makes uh, what's gonna make that festival. So look forward to that. We'll also be drinking, or I think our theme is gonna be drinking things that'll be offered. Yeah. From the vendors that will be there at that uh, that festival. So that their festival. That their festival. So we will let you know what time. We will let you we'll know. We'll make the live. We will set it, and you'll be there, and we'll be there. But it'll either be three, like it used to be, or eight, like it is now. But I'm thinking three. Yeah. Then it'll be out of town. So. Right. All right. Okay. Cool. Well, thanks so much, and until next time, drink more bourbon. See you all. Have a good week.